Hey, what's up, guys? It's been 18 long months. Well, not really long time. Time actually flew. But since having the um, stem cell injections into my eyes, both of my eyes, um, in South Florida, it was a program called Scott's. Um, and here's my update. Um, same old thing, really, to be honest with you. It's, uh, we're a few days before uh, Christmas. And, uh, like I said, I'm still seeing floaters, um, like I've been talking about for, like, the last six months, uh, still seeing floaters and everything. And I could see eventually, maybe, I don't know, uh, maybe in a few years, if I'm still seeing them a lot, maybe I would, uh, pursue the procedure to get them removed. Um, but mainly, I'm still focused on, you know, trying to find something to help you know, the vision, at least stabilize the vision that I have now, uh, make it, uh, you know, something, because I was talking to my sister and everything, and I'm just like, it just, you know, with optic atrophy, I don't know if I say if you're watching videos, but that's what I have, and basically, it's just the blood flow that goes through the optic nerve, is just not basically getting there, it's, my optic nerve is very pale, where it should be a pinkish color, right, and it just, you know, bounced me for years that there's nothing out there really legit um, that uh, can help that. It just seems like a simple fix, right? But obviously it's not. And do I still believe in the whole stem cell treatment? I do. I, I just believe that where I went in Florida, I just believe that they, I'm not, not going to say scam, but they really, you know, mislead people Um in the process of what they're doing i think that uh, you know they do play on people's you know emotions when it come to that like you know just seeing better people gonna listen to you people especially when you claim to be a doctor and all this stuff they're gonna listen to you but i do believe that maybe the bone marrow that's where they took it from my bone marrow the stem cells from that shot them in there maybe the bone marrow uh stem cells aren't really good for the vision you know what I mean? Maybe bone marrow is better for, you know, the knee or the elbow or whatever. Um, so do I still believe in the stem cell treatment? I do. You know, I just think the right doctors need to come forward or, you know, the, the true doctors that really want to help people. Because I do believe, you know, because the Florida people in Florida is they going strong. They're still doing procedures. And I still see um people on a on a forum on facebook that i check every now and then but people still getting procedure done and people still coming on there saying hey it's been a year and i haven't seen my vision still bad or hey it's been six months and no no changes so the majority of people from my what i'm seeing is not seeing no great um great benefits from their procedure down south right so like I said, it's just it's discouraging because, like I said, I'm a real person. I really had this done, and it was a huge, huge process, you know, to get involved with. I mean, I'm in Ohio and flying to Florida and staying there a week, and just the whole procedure was it's unreal, you know. Um, now, granted, you know, do I feel like I could have got some benefits from it? Maybe, you know, if. You know, I, I think it could have been a possibility, you know, using those stem cells, but it didn't do nothing for me. And like I said, if anything, it just gave me, it worsened the vision because like I said, before I went there, there were no floaters. I never seen floaters, right? Um, but point being, you know, 18 months later, um, you know, still staying positive with everything. And I do want to say, um, it's this uh like a supplement or a herb or spice they call it called saffron all right and it's been studied to potentially help people with macular degeneration and other like retina issues where i heard this from is because a guy on that um forum that i was talking about on facebook a guy that actually had the procedure done in florida older guy but he had this done and his vision really got messed up after having that scott's uh, procedure done I mean vision really messed up and I haven't heard from these guys in like six months and I just happened to see him on Facebook and he was talking about how he had to get the older guy had to get a couple more procedures done but he started taking this stuff called saffron 
S A F F R O N. And um, it really helped him, um, helped his vision improve, okay? Now, granted, he did do some other stuff, but the guy I spoke with said he really thought that the saffron really helped out his friend, right? So, with that being said, I looked up online, and it's a, a website based in Australia. They sell saffron. Now, granted, guys, I just seen this like a week ago. I actually emailed them um, and just asked them, hey, you know, what effects do you think saffron would have on the optic nerve? Uh, if any, you know, do you think if this supplement will be worth taking? Um, so, and I, and I have read several articles that says saffron has been proven to help people with macular, de de I can't talk, degeneration and other eye issues. So it might be worth looking into uh, if you are struggling with, you know, certain eye issues or um, uh, know somebody was who having you know retinal issues or, or optic nerve issues i definitely will report back if i hear from them uh but yeah so that's something you can look at saffron uh and, and like i said do your own research on it and maybe that's something that you could take that'll help you out help your vision in some way um another thing is um you know I, i'm still optimistic not about the uh procedure in florida that's that's <coughs> forget them but I still believe that every day getting closer and closer to something to help the vision and not just with magnifiers and video virtual vision no I'm talking about I believe there's real stuff out there whether it is stem cells or whether it is some sort of natural uh cure you know stuff like saffron that can help or or idabinon which I talked about in another video um I just really think people got to do their research and stick with it and get involved because that's what I'm doing. I'm getting involved and I'm trying to figure out. Stop. I'm not going to let uh, Florida, uh, this process, stop what I'm doing. Nah. I ain't going to let that stop. I'm still keep doing what I'm doing. All right. So hopefully you're watching this. You get a little motivated uh, and uh, realize that there's stuff coming to help you out. Right. Uh, one more thing before I go. Uh, I want to thank everybody. Uh, who donated recently to my you caring page uh, a couple people actually donated uh, I really appreciate that and I, I've some people donated anonymously and some the people that didn't I you know wrote you back and you know said thank you but if you're watching this video and you donated anonymously thank you it really do help out because like I say this bill is still huge and uh, I can't wait to get it paid off and every dollar do help somebody actually donated five bucks and you see that and you'd be like five bucks but then you be like that really does help like every dollar helps to get this bill paid off and i can't wait to get it paid off because i want to try other um you know other avenues whether it be saffron or the id be known or different things you know so i do appreciate all of the support and donations i really do and if you're watching this and you want to help, you know, get this bill down, link is in the description of this video. So just check for it, my you caring page. Also, I'm gonna put a link to that website where they they sell the saffron. So I have nothing to do with their website. I'm just putting it. I'm waiting to you know for them to write me back. But I'll put a link as well. All right. So till the next time. Oh yeah, and you can subscribe to this channel because I'm gonna keep these videos coming. All right. Till the next time, see ya.